Hey, what's up? This is Comic95, the Savior, and for this video, I want to answer a question that I saw inside of a forum, give my own two cents on this. Please keep in mind that if you know, like, who this person is, my goal is not to attack the person or anybody that actually answered this question, but rather I want to help and give some insightful information from somebody that's been living in Japan for a long time, that's dated for a long time, and that has been in this exact same situation before. So, long story short, to summarize this person's question, they were asking if, you know, this is a sign that something was wrong and a red flag in a relationship relationship or shall I say situationship they were in the process of dating someone and according to what they said everything seems to have been fine with the person until one evening well no no hold on let me go back a little bit so this person had a date with this this woman had a date with this guy she's a foreign woman dating a Japanese guy and he conveniently forgot the date but he still ended up you know coming to meet them for that date he was just really late like an hour late then the next time they were supposed to have had a date she wasn't available and they changed the you know time location whatever to a later date and after they had this date which fyi was really late at night at 9 30 p.m she was asked to go out with this no, i'm sorry not go out with this person to go back with them to their home and once again <laughs> i've made several videos talking about this before there's so many red flags this but let me just finish the story she declined smart for you and Again, not gonna jump ahead. Let me finish the story. Sorry, you guys. It's killing me so much. I just want to say my opinion. She declined going for it with it. And after that, I don't know. I can't remember if she was asked to pay for her half or if she... I don't know what happened. Basically, long story short, she didn't have the entire amount of money to pay or something like that. And the guy, like, acted like it was okay and that he would cover it and for her to pay him back later. You know, bank transfer. She agreed to this, and yeah, after that, the guy pretty much became unavailable, started leaving her on red, um, he actually sent her his bank details, he can get his money back, and she was asking <laughs> if this was a red flag. That is a red flag if I have, you know, ever seen one. That is a huge red, it's not even a red flag. This is a warning sign. <laughs> You're not talking to somebody that's trying to date you seriously. This person wasn't trying to date you. They were trying to fuck you. He wanted a one night stand. And for a lot of these guys, they they understand. It's not even a matter of trying to make you feel like you've gotten something out of it. It's a psychological trick to make a woman feel like they're dating you seriously by taking you out for food, a drink, acting like they're getting to know you. So that this way, a couple of things. One, the more you talk to a person when you get to know them, the more likely you are to will perform well and bad for the person they assume. Because you've established a connection relation a relationship you're talking to them you've gotten to know them maybe you're more willing to ride on top you're more willing to suck as you know what just keeping it real then on top of that um again psychologically for the woman you feel like you've gotten something out of it because you've gotten your food you've gotten your gift or whatever and now you've lowered your standards it's no different than having a girl drink alcohol um prior to inviting her back to your place or at your place you're going to i forgot the word to use basically you're going to lower your standards and in a nutshell you're going to be willing to do things that you probably normally wouldn't have done for example you're um, you're going to be a lot nicer to somebody that's been nice to you okay you're going to be a lot nicer to somebody that's giving you gifts a lot a lot nicer somebody that's bought you food, etc. Would you not? You're going to be more trusting towards them as well. It's a way to win your trust. And it's also a way to make you feel like it's fair. You get food, gifts, whatever, and they get sex. The moment that you declined sleeping with him, he was out. And honestly, you probably felt like he wasted his time and money with you because he was only talking to you and getting to know you and or taking it slow because he was hoping that he would make it to that, you know, third base or whatever, which he ended up not making it to. And you might have been willing to do it later on, <clears throat> but because you declined it when he wanted it, he had no interest in you. So let me just put it this way, sweetheart. You dodged a bullet. He wasn't trying to date you seriously. He just wanted to have sex with you. And honestly, even if you did sleep with him, he'd probably still do the exact same thing and ghost you. I've been there done that i've been on both sides of it before i've declined going back to somebody's house or to a hotel with them and have them go cold turkey like that i've gone back to people's houses before i hate to admit it more than once and had that happen before where the person would just stop talking to me or they'll talk to me when they conveniently feel horny and want to have sex again they're using you so unless you want to be used or you want to experiment with them too which i highly suggest you do not do that um then yeah you're dodging a bully you don't want to be with that person anyway um let me also talk about this too and this is going to rub a lot of people the wrong way <clears throat> excuse me but this is where I have a really big issue with all of this feminist crap, whatever. 
I understand people are saying, oh, you know, you got it, you can do whatever, whatever, your life. But I'm just going to keep it real with you. Well, you might mean well, and you might think, oh, because I'm older, because she gave examples of this. Because you're, you might be older than the person, or you might think of how things work at work, where, you know, older people at work or whatever, they they pay more, etc. No, 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 sweetheart. You're dating, okay? You're dating. You're not working with these people. That's a red flag right there. Why are you comparing somebody that you want to have a romantic or sexual relationship even with people that you are working with? Two totally different things. Not even remotely the same. Having somebody that's in a more senior position that makes more money than you at work, being willing to pay more money to basically pass it on because when they were your age, the people that were higher up paid more money, you know, same situation. That's totally different than someone that you're trying to date, especially when you are a woman. I understand that from a man's perspective, it's not fair, especially if you're a good guy listening to this. But you have to understand as a man, most men, if men are honest with you, most men do not mean well. Men are not dumb. Men like to feel like they've won something. They like to feel like they've worked for something. They want to win you over by impressing you. A man is not impressing you when he's not willing to pay for your date. You have to ask yourself, do you want a partner like this in the future? Because people, for the most part, they're going to treat you later on in the relationship what you established at the beginning. If from the start of your relationship, you've always made it where, you know, you pay for things, things are done 50-50, etc. Don't get upset and make comparisons later on when you don't have the things that you want. Just keeping it real with you. People settle for super, super, super low minimum crap and ask yourself, would this man be okay with you not having sex with him? Because basically that's what he might as well be saying to you. It's a completely different want that men and women have. Men go into a relationship ultimately for sex. At the end of the day. It doesn't matter how nice of a guy he is, etc. That's what their end goal is. As a woman, if you're being real with yourself and not being politically correct, you go into a relationship because you want stability and security. You either want it, well really, you want all of these things. You want it from a financial standpoint and you want it from an emotional standpoint. Women like to feel intimate on an emotional level and they like to feel protected on a financial level. That's what we want. And this is the reason why men buy gifts. This is the reason why men try to be gentlemen, try to take the lead. They want to plan the date, etc. Do things like this. Because for us, it makes us have those same good, you know, feel good feelings, emotions, etc. That men get when you kiss them, when you sleep with them, things like that. You see what I'm trying to say? So, if you're already saying that this man basically doesn't have to do anything for you, you're going to pay your half, you'll pay for the whole date, etc. You're literally inviting F-boys into your life. Because a man that really wants to date you seriously, he wants to impress you. He wants to buy you food. He wants to pay for the entire tab. And I think she mentioned something like how the guy actually asked him for change something. He, like he didn't even have that, whatever. Huge red flag. Huge red flag. First of all, never accept a date that's that late at night. You should never go on a date after 7 p.m. unless you are already boyfriend, girlfriend. And even there, you need to be 100% sure you're legitimately in a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. And that they're not just saying that they can sleep with you and have easy access to you. And really, they're saying they're boyfriend, girlfriend with several different girls. These are really hard things to figure out when you're new to dating, but you want to like throw that out there too. Don't date guys after 7 o'clock. I don't care if they say they're running late, they used to train. No, 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 no. No dates after 7 p.m. None. Absolutely not. And don't be full. Oh, he wants a daytime date. Guys will fuck you in the daytime too. Too early can also be a bad sign, but it's better for it to be early than late. And do keep in mind that a lot of guys like early dates, not because they want to prove they're a good guy. Don't fall for that bullshit. It's because they know daytime dates are cheaper. For example, most expensive restaurants have lunchtime menus. You can go to a really nice shack and restaurant for like half the price or a quarter of the price if it's between the hours of about 9 a.m. to about 2 or 3 p.m. Just keeping that real with you. Sometimes even later, like 4 or 5 p.m. So that's the big reason why guys like daytime dates. It's not because they want to prove they're a good, innocent guy. Even though plenty of them try to make some of the still reason why it's not. It's because they want to save money. And they're afraid that just like how they can use you for, you know, sleeping around. And some of them are trying to do that. They're afraid that you're just using them for, you know, free money, free sex, free, you know, not free sex. Free food, free money, free gifts, whatever. Because there are plenty of girls that are just on these apps to get free meals. That does happen. So, <clears throat> aside from that, um, yeah. 
red flag, you dodged a bullet. No, this person was not serious about you. Do not talk to them. Do not wait and see what happens because I promise you if this person does come back around, it's not because they changed their mind and they felt bad for being upset with you for not going back to them. No, 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 no. Whoever else they're trying to date and fuck, it didn't work out with them and they feel lonely and bored and now they'll come back around to you and they're hoping they could probably manipulate you later on. This person's not serious about you. No man that really likes you is going to leave you in red. He's not going to forget to message you. He's not going to forget about your date. He should have been stressing out over it the entire week. Just keeping it real with you. When you don't have a lot of good dating experiences in your life, when you don't have a lot of experience with dating, you accept and put up with a lot of bullshit. I personally did that too. You think it's normal and you think that because if you were to say that, you'd be honest. Why would you lie and say you love someone when you don't? Why would you lie and say you forgot about a date when you didn't forget? You think about how you would react to things, how you would do things, what you would say, what you would lie about. And you think, I wouldn't do that. But you have to remember, it's not you. You're dating somebody totally different. And yes, of course, foreigners, sadly, we are seen as easy. Even if you are not an easy person, you're going to be seen as easy. And people will take advantage of you. You know, your kindness, your naivety, etc. They love that about you. It makes it easy to, well, sleep with you. Not to mention, most Japanese girls are not going to do that. You know, pay 50-50 crap. They're not going to pay for the entirety of the date. They're not going to date a guy late at night. These are all things that you're doing. And unfortunately, it sends mixed signals to these guys. They think that because you're willing to do this that you're willing to sleep with them they wonder why would you accept the day at 9 30 p.m going to izakaya some cheap ass restaurant etc if you weren't planning to fuck why would you come back to my house if you're not trying to have sex with me why would you go to hotel me if you're not trying to have sex with me etc these are all things that foreigners do japanese women know better not to do these things a lot of you guys don't know that and it's, it's really unfortunate there's a lot of foreign women that will egg people on oh yeah girl go ahead talk to this person um you know oh maybe he's just whatever maybe he was dating you seriously but he messed my bullshit no all of those things are lies we're trying to give people the benefit of the doubt the guy knew what he was doing he didn't like you and the moment he he stopped liking you the moment he realized he couldn't take advantage of you the moment that he realized you had some sense in you and you thought mm, nah, i'm not going back to your house not today the moment you did that, he felt cheated. Because, see, his goal was to take advantage of you. And when he couldn't do that, he got angry because his time was wasted. He ain't trying to get to know you. He didn't forget the date. He didn't need that little funky 3,000 yen or whatever the fuck you owe him. It had nothing to do with that. He's not broke. He's playing a game with you. Men want to get sex with as many people as they can for as little money and wasting as little time as possible. That's the reality. Why pay hundreds of dollars for a woman? I'm only get an hour or two. That's how a lot of these guys feel. When I could just go on Tinder, go to Paris, find a foreign woman, pretend like I like her. And shoot, you'll, I can regularly see you on a weekly, sometimes daily basis for hours at a time. A lot of you girls, you'll suck D, ride it, etc. He won't even eat you out or touch your nipples. For you know, I'm just saying, keeping it real with you all. Your standards are too low. Stop trying to be a man in a relationship. I get it. You have money. You might like to spend money on people. I know this is a problem that I personally suffer with. And I was never a feminist. But for me... I always felt, well, because my love language is, you know, I like people spending money on me, you know, gifts, etc. That's my love language. I pushed it on to other people. And unfortunately, by doing that, it allowed people to take advantage of me. People saw, oh, okay, this girl's stupid. She has money. She's going to pay for the date and have sex with me? This is jackpot for a guy. You will easily weed out, not the F-boys don't still date you, but you will weed out a ton of them just by requiring them to pay 100% for the date and only dating people during certain hours and choosing where the date is going to be at, meaning a nice restaurant in a nice area, not allowing the guy to choose. And you will quickly notice when you set these three standards, make the date no later than 7 p.m. Make the date at an expensive restaurant where the minimum amount they're going expensive. Meaning the minimum amount they're going to spend is $100 on you. And third, you make it very, very clear that you are not going to sleep with them. You make those three points clear, 90% of men that you think really want you and trying to talk to you, they will disappear because you're not worth their time. Well, you have all these high standards and expectations, etc., where you're like, oh, I don't go to ramen, I'm not going to drink beer with you, etc. Thousands of other girls are willing to do that. And you might feel jealous, like, oh, well, I wish I was going to this with these people. These people are getting played. They're not going to get married. If they do get married, they're going to get cheated on. Their relationship is not serious. You're not missing out on anything. 
When I changed my dating standards, that I met my husband. Do not settle for less than that. Yes, F boys, I still want to come around. This is not a foolproof way, but it will get rid of so many people. You will save so much time. And now when people do date you to waste your time, you win and they get nothing. Because during this whole past year when I was dating men, what happened? I would go out on dates with men, and they would be F boys, I'm not going to lie to you. But what ultimately happened was, I got a nice experience, I got meals, I got gifts, and I didn't give them anything. Didn't hold their hand, didn't kiss them, didn't sleep with them. Now, because they tried to trick me, they're down $300, $1,000, etc. I was going to legitimately be your girlfriend. You were the one that decided to be a player. Have the ball be in your court. These are grown men and they are Japanese. I don't care if he's a college student. If he really likes you, he will find the money and time to date you. He will find the money to pay for that nice restaurant. I was a university student too. And I still went out on nice dates. I paid for nice dates. I paid for nice gifts too. I am not rich. I did not come from a family that had money. I saved for it. You want to know why? Because I wanted to show the person that I really liked them. That I cared about them. Okay. You are dealing with a grown ass man. And whether you like it or not, Japan is very old fashioned. And in that sense, they are used to being the ones that pay. There are some Japanese women that do their crap nowadays too. But for the most part, most Japanese women do not pay on a first date. And of course, men like it when you pay because it saves them money. They get the best of both worlds. Men are well aware that women can use them for money. Men are also well aware that if you date and F everybody, you're going to go broke. It makes them have to be more selective when they do have to pay for everything. And this way, you can see how serious this person is about you. Because a person that's not very serious or that doesn't really want you, most people are not going to drop hundreds of dollars on you. They're not going to date you for months and months and months waiting to sleep with you. Most people will not. Can it happen? Yes, those are exceptions to the rule. But generally speaking, a guy is not going to stick around for three, four, five months. There's nothing special about you. There's other girls. You're not the only person pretending to be a virgin. You're not the only five foot girl. You're not the only girl from the U.S. You're not the only blind. Not the only person with blue eyes, etc. There's more fish out there. There's more women in this world than there are men. You are not anything special. I'm sorry to break it to you. Beauty is not that rare, especially not on dating apps. <laughs> so what is true nowadays? You got plastic surgery, makeup, etc. And the borders are reopened. So just keeping it real with you, you make things so much easier for yourself when you set higher standards. Because while you have high standards, most girls do not. So now if a guy does pursue you, for the most part, you can tell that this person not it's not foolproof like I said. But for the most part, you can tell that this person is a lot more serious about you. Because they could have dated somebody else with a lot less effort, spent a lot less money, and get to, you know, third base a lot faster. And of course, there's guys that just want to check off their bucket list. They, you know, F the blonde, F the girl from Canada. Canada, from Russia, whatever, and for that reason, they will put in the extra work, the extra money, the extra whatever, to get, to, you know, get down, get down into your pants, but for the most part, most guys aren't going to go through all the crap, they're going to this bitch crazy, I'm going to spend all that damn money on you, that's how they're going to feel towards it, like, oh, you know, maybe if we date later on, or when you, when you demand these things, not, not demand, you know, in a rude way, but just say, you know, I require this, whatever, they'll be blunt with you, they'll tell you directly, oh, can we have sex, can you come to my hotel, etc., they'll get straight to the chase, because, okay, like, you know, this bitch ain't getting it, I'm just trying to fuck. Thank you for telling me that. Now I can save myself a lot of time and money. This is what I did. It worked for me. You need to do that too. It's not a red flag. You're missing obvious signs. It's not like red flags is for me like in the process of legitimate dating. You're not really dating this person. You wanted to date this person, but they're not dating you. They saw you as a one night stand. You misunderstood the, the whole situation with this whole thing. So from their perspective, they feel cheated. Do not pay this man back. If anything, he owes you money for emotional damage and playing you. Do not message him. Do not tell him, oh, I know what you're on, whatever. Because by doing that, you're doing nothing but stroking his ego. The best revenge is to move on in silence. Don't say anything. Don't explain what you're doing in your life. Don't tell him you got no partner, whatever. More like, he probably blocked you anyway. But if he didn't block you, what are you doing? Like, guys do not care. In fact, this reminds me of the whole, like, this is off subject, but like, with the whole Miley Cyrus song situation. Making crazy posts. Texting guys, whole paragraphs, sending them voicemails, showing up at their house, you know, just doing crazy crap like that. Men don't give a shit. You're just showing that you're not over it. And by doing that, you're doing nothing but stroking your ego. Wow, this bitch so crazy. She's still thinking about me weeks, months later. You're writing about me in forums, etc. That's what this man is ultimately thinking. Do yourself a favor. 
pick up the little bit of pride you got left and move on and date somebody else i'm not talking about this girl in particular i'm talking about other people she ain't saying anything crazy about doing crap like that but i'm just saying like yeah don't <laughs> don't waste your time on someone like that lesson learned you were naive you were innocent you meant well and it's unfortunate because there are a lot of good men that really would appreciate the fact that you wanted to do these kind things for a guy but that's why i say save paying for dates for when you're in a relationship i had to learn that the hard way i well now i'm a married woman let me let you know i'm giving you good solid advice i am married but even prior to when i got married i would tell you this exact same thing do not pay for dates until you are in an established boyfriend girlfriend relationship and even then you shouldn't pay for dates not even 50 percent of the time i say 30 percent of the time make it a treat to pay for a date and do something for your man but to be honest you can pay him back by doing things that aren't on a financial level of paying for a date you can give him gifts you can give him your time you can do special things and bad for him etc it should not be you literally paying for the date it's a masculine move you might think oh well, this isn't the 19 just blah, blah, blah. i don't care if you don't want to get paid you have to get with the program this is the problem women talking to other women making their own own rules as women this will do nothing but get you played doesn't matter what you think what you want what you think is okay what you think is fair you need to see it from a man's perspective men will take advantage of you if you try to do things this way it's not about what you think. It's about what men think. Unfortunately, while there are good guys out there, most of the people that you're going to be meeting are not going to be good guys. It's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Most men want to waste your time. They just want to sleep with you. Especially when you're dating people that are your age. Older people can be on game too. But for the most part, men that are about, I would say, anything under the age of 33. 90% of them are on game. 33 and above, it becomes more like about maybe 60-70%. It gets lower the older they get because they see their friends and family members getting married. They feel left out. And now they want a real relationship. But don't don't be fooled. There are 40-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 50, 60, 70-year-olds that are also on game and playing these apps too. I've dated them too. I speak from experience. It hurts. It sucks. But lesson learned. Do not date people late at night. You are smart. Do not go back to their house because that is a clear sign that you want to sleep with them. Japanese girls do not go to their friend's house. They don't date, you know, when I say friends, you know, friends of the opposite sex. They don't date somebody at their house unless they're boyfriend, girlfriend, and they're sleeping with each other. If you go into their house, it's assumed that you guys are having sex. The fact that he asked you on the date at 9.30 p.m. already said that he didn't respect you to begin with. He assumed that you would have, one, already ate, and two, on top of that, probably trying to find a cheap place to go to that would be open late at night to begin with, and again, the goal would be to have you come back to their house. They're not worried about the last train, etc. Because a couple of things. One, the good thing is when you sleep with somebody that late at night, you know, you finish dinner like 10, 11 o'clock, now you have a good excuse to kick them out as soon as sex is over, no staying overnight into the morning. Two, if you do stay overnight into the morning, which, you know, that can't be a good thing for them too. Some guys like having you spend the night and then kick you out in the morning. So it works in favor for them as well. You know, you can leave discreetly in the morning. Nobody got to know you just got to get fucked. Okay, so works both ways for men. It's never a good sign when a dude wants to date you late at night. And that was a huge telltale sign right there. The moment that his personality completely changed. He switched up on you. The moment you didn't do what he wanted you to do, suddenly he became unavailable, didn't plan dates anymore, didn't reply to messages. Stop messaging him. Stop thinking about him. Stop talking to him. Stop stalking him. He doesn't like you. He never did. Doesn't matter how pretty you are. It doesn't matter what you think about yourself. He doesn't... If a, This is a problem a lot of girls understand, especially here in Japan. If a man doesn't want a relationship with you, nothing that you say or do can change that. It just won't happen. It won't. Because he's already decided that he wants to be single. He doesn't want to have a girlfriend. And honestly, when women like you, not trying to bash, just keeping it real, but do stuff like that, it gives guys no reason. Why would you want to be in a committed boyfriend-girlfriend relationship when there's plenty of girls that do this type of crap for you for free? If you can get unlimited pussy, and you got bitches out here paying for the meals too, like... Why would you want to be in a committee with, oh, wait till I'm 40? That's how a lot of guys see it. Men don't have the same pressure that women do because they don't have any issue, for the most part, with having children as they get older. Men also don't have the urge to create a family as, you know, it's not as strong as it is with women. 
men also not that they don't care about emotional intimacy but it's a lot less so than women do women definitely care about a lot more if anybody wants to argue with that hold on just like how women do like sex but it's not on the same level that a man does it's the same situation you have to understand that you are not a man don't pay for dates don't date people late at night and don't force yourself on the people and think to yourself how could somebody forget a date if you truly liked someone how could you forget come on that was the first red flag don't reschedule a first date the only way a first date should get rescheduled is if they talk to you at least at least a day before or preferably days before to tell you that they forgot about the date and they would like to reschedule that something came up and even then I feel skeptical about that too because to be honest if a man really likes you they should be willing to rearrange their schedule to keep the commitment that they made with you this is how Japanese men work they will not normally cancel or even reschedule a date they will change whatever they have to whatever commitments they made etc to make sure that they make it on time for your date being a few minutes late is understandable, but to be honest, even then, Japanese people are really big about time. Punctuality is very important here. So that's normally a red flag, but I keep real with you. My husband was late for our first date, but it was only by a few minutes. Don't allow a guy to tell you, oh, I forgot our date, and, you know, show up an hour, two hours late, and then only because you remind them. But like, no, no, sweetheart, don't do that. Please stop. And also be careful taking advice from these girls here. A lot of girls, they're lost too. It's literally the blind leading them, you know, leading the blind. A bunch of unmarried women, a bunch of women that are, you know, that have been here for a long time, but they haven't learned shit. They're continuously doing the same thing. They're throwing themselves around to everybody and they just want to wish everybody the best of luck. And they're afraid to say anything negative or bad because, again, all of the political correctness. And on top of that, I think people all, all I mean, just, I can't even think of the word I want to say. People are really afraid to tell people that what they're doing is wrong and are bad. And I feel like they don't want to be the one to, you know, burst someone's bubble or say, oh, I think you're making a mistake. And then on top of that, there's also a flip side of where people want to see everything fuck up. They, they want to see oh, what's going to happen if she does whatever. So, now everybody giving you advice, telling you how to love. I'm giving you some tough love. Um, it was really stupid of you to go on that late date. It was really stupid of you to have him, you know, allow you to, you know, reschedule the date. It was, you know, smart of you to not go back to his place. So clap, two claps for you. That was a great move. Um, it's unfortunate you had to learn that way. But I think it's much better to learn this way than to learn the real hard way, which is if you had gone back to his place and then he ghosted you afterwards. And, you know, you can put an STD, a baby, anything else. So just be really careful about this. It sucks. Dating is hard. It's not easy. I totally understand. But please be very careful. Do not pay for dates. I know that you might think that maybe you're older or you have a higher paying job, etc. But I promise you, even if the man you're dating makes less money, he will pay for the date if he really likes you. It's not about how much money he makes. He shouldn't even be viewing it that way. It's because he is a man. He wants to take the lead. For example, you could be in a relationship with a guy that's shorter and smaller than you. He should still be willing to do harder, tougher jobs than you because he's still a man and you are still a woman. It's not about who's the bigger person. You get what I'm trying to say? It's about your role in the relationship. When I get it, oh, this is going to make people really mad because all the political correctness. But it's like, you know, you can't have it both ways. Women nowadays, I'm not saying this is you, but like in general, a lot of women, they want to have this independent, strong, bad bitch type personality. But then it's always, oh, I'm in my soft girl era. I want to be taken on trips and vacations. I want to get married, etc. It's like, okay, but you set yourself up to be treated like a man. You want to be equal and even with men. You want to pay for things. You want to work like a man. You want to do everything like a man. And then you wonder why you get treated and played like one too. I don't understand how women don't get this whole that's a whole other that's a whole other story I'm gonna get into all that shit y'all finna get mad at me. <laughs> but I'm done I'm talking with this forever long story short girl you dodged a bullet yes to answer your question it was ultimately a red flag if you want to put it that way but I wouldn't even call this a red flag because again it was never a relationship it was a one night stand you misunderstood what it was and they were trying to trick you they were not clear enough front with their intentions but yeah, lesson learned. Don't pay for dates. Don't go on late dates. Don't go to cheap dates. Don't allow a guy to reschedule a first date. And any time that a guy changes the way that he's texting you, replying to calls, he starts leaving your red, it's never because they're busy. It's never because your schedule's on the line. This is a Japanese way of rejecting someone and saying that I don't like you, I'm not interested anymore. They normally would not directly say that they don't want to see you, they don't, they don't like you, they don't want to talk to you. Instead, they like that you're stroking their ego, that you still want to see them and talk to them, but they're not interested in you, which is the reason why he's not blocking you. Instead, he's leaving you on red. It's their way of letting you down. They're 
hoping that eventually you will stop messaging him. You'll see he's uninterested. He's not going to say yes. And that you will give up, move on with your own life. So this way, they don't have to directly say, I'm done with you. And instead, you can just get the hand and be like, oh, okay, he must not like me anymore. That's what they're ultimately hoping happens in this whole situation. And a lot of people miss all of these, you know, signs, flags, whatever. So that's it. I am done with this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm sorry that this happened to you. And I'm making this video to hopefully help somebody else and let them understand this is why you do not pay for dates. This is also the reason why you don't go back to people's houses. There are hotels, etc. And this is why you do not allow a guy to cancel, reschedule a date. And you also do not double, triple message people, whatever. In fact, I don't even message guys asking for another date. After I've seen them, that's it. If they like me, they will message me thanking me for the date and they will reschedule another date. And also, where they reschedule the next date is also a huge indicator of what they think of you. A guy that reschedules the second date to be even later than the first one is not a good sign. A guy that reschedules the second date for a cheaper place is not a good sign. A guy asking you to pay him back, a guy giving you the bank details, that already means he's not seeing you as a serious date. If he was trying to win you over, he would not want you to think that he doesn't have money. He would not want you to think that he's that stingy, that frugal, that whatever. That would be a red flag for a Japanese girl, and he knows that. They're only doing that because they don't like you. He's establishing a, we're not even friends, but this is like a stranger situation. I, I did you a favor by paying you for this, so you're going to pay me back for whatever. Don't do that. In fact, if you might you might feel good for, oh, you know, oh, this guy money, whatever. See it this way. This is the money that he gifted to you. That meal was a gift to you for him wasting your time. Because clearly you wanted something more serious than he did. And he tricked you into thinking that he wanted the same thing as you. Because if he didn't trick you, you should be very clear about what his intentions were. And clearly you did not understand what this was all about. So see, this is you cutting your losses. You got a free meal. You don't owe that man shit. Don't let him guilt trip you anything. Don't let him guilt trip you into anything. And to be honest, I don't think he's going to. He's not even talking to you. That, that's that's a sign right there. Guys, do not ignore you for even a day. I don't care. How, my husband is a fucking doctor, okay? And even before we got married, my husband would never go a day without replying to my messages. It didn't happen. Even prior to him, when I dated other people. It never takes more than a few hours, even if your man is at work. They go to the bathroom. They go on the train. They have lunchtime. They have breaks throughout their day. They're always on their phone. Japanese people are not truly robots. They use their phone just like how you do. If you message them, call them, etc., they saw it. They chose not to reply to it. That shows how little of importance and little of value you are to the person you're trying to talk to. There's never an excuse. And never, please never accept these type of men back. I don't care what their garbage excuse is for why they came back into your life a year later, a month later, a week later. Oh, my cousin died. My grandma. It's bullshit. It's all a lie. Do not fall for that type of crap. Their own game. And they're hoping they can trick you the second time around. Not worth their time, not worth their energy. You deserve someone that would treat you so much better. You seem like a really sweet and kind person. The fact that you're even willing to pay for this or that, I used to do that as well. Find somebody that is deserving of your time, deserving of your money, deserving of your generosity. Do not waste it on these F boys. He just wanted to F you. So, that's it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. You can also send me an email with any of your video ideas. As always, um... You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Comic95. I have a Snapchat and TikTok at Comic the Savior and a blog at Comic95.com and a Facebook fan page at Comic95 the Savior. And yeah, I also have here on my YouTube channel tons of playlists. I have playlists from just about everything, working, dating, studying, living in Japan. So if you have any questions, I've probably already made a video answering them inside those playlists. So please go to my YouTube channels, my YouTube channel's homepage and check that out there. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Bye.